Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Wanted to get on here today and do a lifestyle favorites for November and I have a ton of stuff so I'm gonna jump right into this and I'm gonna start with um, some things from the kitchen. Okay, the first one is gonna be a vitamin and probably most of us have heard of the Alive Vitamins. This is the liquid. I don't know why I love this more than the pill. It feels healthier. It feels like kind of drinking your greens. You do two tablespoons a day and it's kind of got a citrusy flavor to it. You can taste the green under it, but it has a strong citrus flavor. And I just love it. It's got orchard fruits, garden veggies, daily greens, bioflavonoids, mushrooms, herbs. It feels healthier than the pill and I love it. it. I do not mind the taste of it. This is great. Okay, next is a gluten-free bread and this is by Char and it's gluten-free ciabatta rolls. I like slice them in half and I put them in the air fryer and toast them and I eat either turkey or chicken salad and I have these for breakfast. I've been having a sandwich every morning for breakfast then I'm sure I get enough carb for the day, if I don't get any other carbs, then I've had these carbs. And then I have some good protein, and sometimes I have a little apple or something with it. You know, any way you eat your bread, <laughs> but I like it. Okay, next, this organic beef bone broth. And I like the chicken too. I get this, I think at Walmart, but it's organic. And through the winter, this has just got to be so good and healthy. Just good protein and bone broth is supposed to be really good for us. I warm it up and just eat it like soup, like the soup that it is. I sometimes put salt in it, put it in a cup, and just um, have a cup of this every day to heal whatever is going on with my body and make me strong so I don't get sick in the wintertime. Okay, next, an appliance. Okay, y'all, I think I had had my kitchen mixer since my wedding shower 30 years ago. So I finally updated and got one of these cute kitchen aids and I love it. It mixes my foods up really good. I've made banana bread with it, Oreo balls, and um, I really like this. It mixes things up really nice. And um, the colors are so cute. This just seems like such a throwback. Okay, next, also for the kitchen. And y'all, y'all may all seriously be going, we all know that. And I knew it, but I'd never done it. These Lazy Susans that I use to put my spices on. Let me know what all y'all use a Lazy Susan for. I got four of these and put my spices on them. It just organized my spice cabinet so nice. And my mom always had this. I don't know why I've never done it. But if you've just never organized your spices, the Lacey Susan is a really good way to do it. I cannot tell y'all how much more organized I feel. I can find everything so easy and it just makes cooking more of a joy. This one has a little lip on it. And then the bottom of it is kind of rubberized so things don't slide around. And I really liked these. Okay, next for the kitchen. And these would be a great gift idea too. Items, products from Mud Pie. They're little um, glassware items like this. My friend Lori gave me this for my birthday. And it's just a little spoon rest. This is Perk Up with a spoon that says caffeine, the other vitamin C. And I'm just real cute glassware. And then last year, also from Lori, she gave me from Mud Pie this butter dish. And it is just so pretty. And these would make a beautiful gift. They have platters, they have dishes. My friend Carol gave me the cutest dish. I'll put a picture right here. And it says celebrate. She left it on my doorstep. I brought it in and dropped it. And so I have another one on the way. So Carol, if you're watching this, I'm a stupid girl. I have another one of those on the way. It's beautiful. Okay, next, a snack. Mary Ellen was telling me about a snack she loves. I love apples and peanut butter. And she said, have you ever salted the apple? Y'all, I do not know why that is so delicious. It makes it like candy. Salt the apple and then eat it with the peanut butter or salt the apple and then eat it with like an Atkins bar. If you've never salted the apple and then eaten it with peanut butter, Try that. It makes it like candy. Okay, next, a fudge recipe. This is the easiest fudge recipe I've ever done. And it's not a milk chocolate, and it's not a dark chocolate. It is right in the middle. It's half a stick of butter, a can of Eagle Brand, and I use the fat-free, and three cups of chocolate chips. Melt it together, put it in the fridge, let it harden, done. It is delicious. Okay, next, a big favorite at my house. Right now, during the holiday season, 
pestles. If you have not done a puzzle in years like I hadn't, these make the best activity. Put a puzzle out on a table or a card table. I did that at Thanksgiving and the whole family ended up around the table doing a puzzle and it just made for the coziest activity. Put on a movie, had hot chocolate, did a puzzle. So I ended up going on Amazon and getting a ton of puzzles. Amazon and Target had some really good ones. These came from Amazon and I thought those looked so pretty. This one is a thousand piece, but I thought that looked so pretty for Christmas. So if you haven't done a puzzle in a while, you might pick some up. These were a great way to bring the family together. Okay, next, I have a couple of household products. Hang on, let me get them. Okay, I have a steam vac and a stick vac, and I love them both. These make it so easy to do the hard floor surfaces in my house. This is the stick vac. It's by Tyneco. It gets in the corners real well and right by the walls. It makes keeping all this tile in my house so easy. And then down here on the end, this comes off. It's got things you can put on it to do your car and, you know, walls and furniture. It was really easy to put together. The only thing about this Tyneco that I don't like is it doesn't stand up on its own. I have to lean it up against something, but I was finding as I was shopping, that's the case with a lot of these, but I love it. It gets right next to walls and in corners and it really picks stuff up. It's nice and strong. Okay, and then this Bissell <laughs> Steam Vac. It's got the little pad on the bottom and you can take that off and wash it. It comes nice and clean, easy to use. You just fill this little um, tank with water, stick it down in here, um, this one plugs, it's got a nice long cord, and then you let it warm up, and then it just steam cleans your tile or vinyl floors. And I'm not scrubbing, it saves a lot of elbow grease. I just kind of walk through my house really slowly while this steam cleans my floors. Okay, next, I have um, a piece of clothing, or a couple of pieces of clothing. These little sweaters, I have had these before. These are little cardigans, and I ordered them on Amazon. The brand is Ambiance, and they're just little thin cardigans. They lay nice and flat. They don't add any bulk to my frame at all. Very nice for overly air-conditioned rooms. These are nice to have around. And these have little buttons on the end of the sleeve. Hold on, I'm going to put one on and show you how it fits. I keep a ton of these in my closet just to grab and throw on. They're great for church or if you're going to the mall or an airport, I love them. They fit kind of short, but the sleeves are nice and long on them because I have long um, arms. And they just are really, really nice. And um, I love these. I love keeping several in tan and black. Okay, my next favorite is something that I'm loving doing right now. And that is meditation. So I started meditating and I started with about five minutes, maybe 10. And I immediately felt the benefits of that. It's just like giving your brain just a little break in the day. It's really nice. So I started with the morning 10 minutes and the night 10 minutes. And then during the day, anytime during the day, I start feeling um, keyed up. I'll sit down and try to meditate for just a couple of minutes. Um, sometimes, y'all, I get so relaxed during my meditation that my sleep app registers a nap. That has got to be good for you. When I first started this, I did guided meditation on an app that I downloaded. And my favorite app is the Insight Timer. It's got um, guided meditation. It's got music, nature sounds. I also like Calm. But the Insight Timer um, is more in-depth. And they have more categories to choose from. If you just find yourself just always constantly thinking about a million things, you might try that, but I love the Insight Timer and I love my meditation. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into some books. The first one is called Stillness is the Key. And I thought I was buying a book on what meditation does for you, but this was not about that. But it did talk about how important stillness is. He talks about the different ways to be still creativity, hobbies. He talks about how hobbies are like a still movement. You're moving, but your mind is um, at rest. He talks about how a lot of famous people in history spent their downtime 
Winston Churchill, Jesus, Christian monks, Confucius, and it just talks about what stillness, what stillness does for you and how important it is to slow down. If that's a topic that interests you, um, you might pick this up and give it a try. I loved it. Okay, the next one, Ellis for Living told me about this because we were talking about meditation and through meditation, I realized one of my biggest stresses is that I just don't let stuff go. And I realized that when they closed my gym almost a year ago, and I'm still hanging on to it. I can't let it go. My gym, kids leaving the house, any change, I'm hanging on like grim death. That is very unhealthy, and I didn't know it was a thing till I was talking to Elle about it, and she said, you need to get... It was my bookmark. The Language of Letting Go by Melody, Melody Beattie. It's just little daily devotions on how to go with the flow of life, how to be more easygoing, let stuff go, like no big deal. <laughs> it's exactly what I need. It's just very positive. This does have some scripture in it, which for me, I love that. But if you're not spiritual, be aware of that. It's just a great, uplifting book with a lot of wisdom in it and it's helping me immensely okay next girls like us by christina alger it's a kind of a mystery kind of a kind of suspense but mostly a mystery and it's about a an fbi agent she's kind of young around 26 kind of a gritty girl and she's from the city chicago maybe and she moves, she goes back home for her father's funeral and while she's there she gets involved in a case that he was involved in and starts thinking he might have actually been involved in it or his friends who she grew up with and so it just is about the case of the murder of some prostitutes it says the further Nell digs the more likely it seems to her that her father should be the prime suspect and that his friends on the police force are covering his tracks plagued by doubts about her mother's murder. Oh yeah, her mom's murder too. She starts wondering what happened back there. Just all this stuff starts coming at her when she goes back home. Secrets start coming out. It's excellent. Okay, next, I have a couple of YouTube channels for you. The first one is Laura Jane. I think she said, I think it's pronounced Atelier. She talks about vintage things, vintage makeup, vintage beauty products, and the actresses that wore them and what we can still get our hands on today. Some of her latest stuff is Farrah Fawcett's favorite beauty products you can still get. Vintage drugstore face creams you can still buy today. Mae West's favorite beauty products that we can still get. Elizabeth Taylor's favorite beauty products that we can still get. Joan Crawford's beauty products. So if you do not know Laura Jane, Atelier, I think is how you say that. Go check her out. Okay, next. This one is a Facebook channel. If you do not know Trey Kennedy, you need to run over to Facebook and watch Trey Kennedy. He has the most hilarious, like, video parodies. He has one called Moms, part one, two, and three, and he'll act like a mom talking to his child. He is <laughs> the Funniest. Okay, I watched some this morning to kind of jog my memory and some of the funny lines I heard today were He's in a car and he turns around like he's talking to his son and he says How was dinner at Jeremiah's? Did you guys not eat at the dinner table over there? That might explain a few things. Did you have fun at Sarah's? Did I see the Christmas tree still up? That's typical of the Williams. How was the sleepover? Where's the family off to so early? A football game? They never get up early and go to church. Then he does one about middle school kids. I will not even try to do it justice where he's acting like your middle schooler would be acting spot on there's a lot of oh my gosh mom he is so funny if you don't know him you need to run over there okay and that is all of my lifestyle favorites for november y'all definitely let me know down below anything lifestyle tv movies channels books anything you want to tell me about Put that down below because I would love to pick it up and love it with you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.